Hi, I am Dr. Leela Mohan PVR. I had done my uh, MBBS uh, MD. I am general medicine uh, physician. Uh, I practice at uh, Motherhood and uh, Rainbow Hospital, Sajapur Road. I have my own center called as uh, Padidam Healthcare. That is in uh, HSR layout, Bangalore. Rebis is a viral disease which is transmitted through a virus. Mainly it affects the central nervous system that is uh, nothing but your brain. And this is mainly transmitted by the bite of a dog or a bite of a cat or a scratch by them. So we should be very aware when we are uh, dealing with the animals. Rebis is almost uh, fatal. By knowing this, we should be very careful and we should be aware of transmission of the rabies. It is the deadliest uh, infection uh, which is uh, ever known and there is no proper treatment for it until we take a vaccination or we should be careful. So how it is uh, transmitted? The infected uh, animal uh, like dog, foxes, cocoons, there are uh, many things even uh, scratch from all of them will definitely transmit the virus from them to the human. It mainly gets uh, transmitted by the saliva. If the saliva will get uh, contact with any open wound of us which have uh, been having over our uh, screen or anything can easily get uh, transmitted from the animals to the humans. This is the method of uh, transmission of the virus. So incubation period. So what is this incubation period? Incubation period is nothing but the time of the bite and from the time of the bite when the symptoms will be seen in a person. That usually in this rabies what it happens is one to three months it can uh, take. That means it can start showing it within one or two days or it may take one to three months. So location of the bite location of the bite that means where the dog or the cat it uh, bitten you if it bitten you near the head or nose the virus uh, spread and transmission will be very fast and it will reach to the central nervous system and cause uh, rabies which is a deadly and uh, fatal disease so severity of the bite if the bite is very deep or at uh, multiple places it is very risky and very dangerous the spread of the virus can be very faster than at a particular place. So virus load, the amount of the virus which is uh, incorporated into your body will show depends upon the incubation period. If the viral load is very less, the incubation period will take longer time. Like maybe as I said, one to three months or sometimes it may take even a year also. If the virus load is more, if the depth of the bite is more, the virus quantity, the virus load is nothing but the quantity of the virus. That means number of the virus particles which can get uh, increased and then the incubation period can be very less. It can be less than a week. All the symptoms what I'm going to say now can be seen within a week. So the first stage is called as a prodromal stage that is mainly stays for one to three days. The patient or the person who got affected, they can have uh, one is a generalized weakness. The other thing is uh, fever, easy fatigability, headache and uh, heaviness and nausea and vomiting or the main symptoms of uh, rabies within one to three days. So the second stage is uh, which starts from uh, second day or third day up to 10 days or uh, the week that uh, mainly includes uh, uh, neurological symptoms like uh, anxiety and uh, aggression. The patient can have uh, hallucinations, what we'll call it as hydrophobia, that means fear of water, aerophobia. Aerophobia is nothing but fear of uh, fresh air and then uh, different uh, thoughts, talking irrelevantly or some of the symptoms of the neurological phase. So difficulty swallowing and then uh, excessive salivation. Uh, excessive salivation is nothing but uh, increased uh, formation of the saliva and the other thing is called as insomnia that is uh, lack of sleep. These all are the symptoms of the second phase of rabies. So the third stage is uh, paralytic stage. Mainly the paralysis will occur at the site of the bite which can start uh, progressive uh, slowly and the muscle weakness at the site and uh, the muscle weakness can happen all over the body. So respiratory failure uh, occurs due to paralysis of uh, muscles which can lead to difficulty in uh, breath and uh, which can happen uh, the breathlessness and it can uh, lead to failure of the respiratory system. So the last stage is uh, terminal stage. A terminal stage is uh, nothing but uh, where uh, almost uh, the death is uh, inevitable. that means uh, fatal. So we should be very uh, careful. It can be mainly due to the respiratory failure or uh, cardiac failure.